When I first started making YouTube videos, there were two different companies that I knew eventually I'd love to make some content with. The first was Unity, and obviously that one didn't take long because I was making Unity tutorials. And the second is Rococo, which is a small independent company focused on making affordable motion capture for independent developers. Well, a few months ago, Rococo reached out to me to see if I was interested in finally making some videos with them. They sent over a couple of packages. Let's check them out. Rococo sent me a small and a large package, both of which came in branded boxes. I started by unboxing the small package, which came super tight and did not want to come out. But I did eventually get it out and out dropped the Rococo head rig. The first thing I noticed was the quality of the packaging, which reminded me of an Apple product, no empty space or wiggle room. The head rig itself is made up of two separate pieces and is a combination of metal and hard matte plastic. The two pieces snap together and can then be worn and tightened by twisting the knob in the back. On the front of the head rig, there's a slot for a smartphone, which feels locked in and secure. Rococo provides a face capture app to track facial data and sync up with the rest of their motion capture. But on to the larger box, I was a bit more excited for this one. This box was more than double the size of the first and came with two of the Rococo products inside. The smaller box was another well-packaged product, the Rococo Smart Gloves. These provide absolute precision when it comes to tracking finger data, and that's because each finger has its own sensor. I felt like I got pretty lucky because they ended up fitting perfectly, which was a nice surprise. But then came the main event, the SmartSuit Pro 2. The suit is covered in almost 20 different sensors and made out of a sporty textile mesh material. It almost feels like a surfing wetsuit, and I couldn't wait to put this thing on. So first impressions are that it's incredibly tight, um, but there are a lot of adjustable little hooks on the side, so you can get it fitting just how you need it to. Length is actually better than I expected. For context, I'm like five foot six, and this fits me pretty perfectly. I got the small, obviously. Yeah, I'm surprised at how well this fits me, and I was a little worried it was going to be too big, but it ended up just right. I started setting up the rest of the suit and tried to put on and connect the smart gloves. What's cool is that the SmartSuit Pro 2 is glove ready. So this whole suit is actually battery powered, and this is the recommended battery. It is sold separately, but once you have it, it to be honest, it took me a while to figure out where to put it, but there is this little zipper on the right hand side that you pull down, Find this cable and then you connect it directly to your battery. Once you have that, you'll see we now have power. Stuff it in there. It's a little snug. Zip it on up. And again, we are ready for motion capture. So I just finished trying everything on. I'm typically a size small and they did send me a size small. It ended up fitting very well. It's a little snug, but I think that's how it's supposed to be. The next step in this process is to connect to your computer and hook it up to your Wi-Fi so that Rococo Studio can actually connect and receive all the tracking data. Let me show you how I do that. To download the Rococo Studio software, I just went to the website and found the Studio dropdown in the top bar. Then press on Download and Selected Windows as my platform. Once that was installed, Rococo Studio has a few different sections, but to connect the devices to the computer, there's a Devices button in the top right. By default, nothing will show. The smart suit needs to be connected to the computer. I was able to do this by connecting the smart suit sensor hub to my computer via USB-C. It's also worth noting that the suit needed to be plugged into the power brick. Once both of those were plugged in, the suit connection popped up on my computer and asked me to install the latest firmware onto the device. And after the firmware was updated, I was able to update the suit's Wi-Fi to be the same network as the computer I was using. 
I had to repeat this process for both smart gloves as well. Ensuring that both gloves had the latest firmware and the Wi-Fi settings were set to the same as the computer. Or so I thought. All right, so I am back in the suit. To be honest, it did take a second to get to this point though. Once I disconnected my suit from my computer, it was no longer showing up in Rococo Studio. It turns out that if you have a firewall on your computer, it has a good chance of rejecting the connection to the smart suit. So note that if you see a red dot on the back of your suit, be sure to turn off your firewall and hopefully that helps some people out there because it took me like an hour to figure that out. And then you might notice this headband here. There's a zipper on the back of the suit that I didn't notice at first, once I unzipped it, this headband popped out and I'm like 95%, maybe 100% sure that this is how you capture your head's motion capture. So just pop it on, there's a sensor in the back and then you should be good to go. But at this point, I think we're finally ready to capture some motion capture in Rococo Studio. Let's give it a shot. In the project section of Rococo Studio, I made my first test project and then my first scene within that project. It was great because the suit automatically connected and started streaming motion capture data into the scene, but it was a little off. I needed to recalibrate the suit for Rococo Studio to get the correct orientation. To do that, I had to go through the process of creating an actor. Actors are essentially puppets that pair with the suit's active motion capture. They get a name, color, and height that I think you should match to the person in the suit. And there's plenty of options to customize the actor so it's as accurate as possible. But once created, my actor was in the scene. However, I could still see my uncalibrated body separated from the new actor puppet. This was super quick to fix. I just had to pair the smart suit with the actor. Funny enough, it was still uncalibrated so the actor inherited the misaligned tracking data. That didn't stop me from having a little fun though. I then calibrated the suit for the first time by using the calibration tool at the top of the screen. It had me stand still with my arms at my side for just a few seconds, and when it was finished, everything realigned. Just like that, I was getting awesome results from the smart suit and smart gloves. I started with some basic movements, but then I wanted to try to test the limits of the suit and gloves by throwing in some complex movements just to see how it came out. But honestly, I spent too much time just having fun watching the character match my movements. So far, I'm super impressed with the fidelity of the motion capture that we're getting out there. There are a few hiccups every now and again, and you have to recalibrate, but it is pretty impressive just right out of the box. I'm sure there's also something to do with the Wi-Fi that I have connected. It says to get your own router, but I haven't done that yet. Probably will just to ensure that I'm getting the best capture data possible. But for now, I'm still really impressed. And then the last thing I'm going to try in this video is adding in the head rig that they sent over as well, getting it paired with the smart suit and getting some motion capture with everything combined. So with the head rig and my phone added, the Rococo app is sending this data over to Rococo Studio. And what that means is that it's picking up my facial capture and just adding it onto the same actor that's recording all of my movements. So with this whole setup, you're capturing every part of your body that I can Imagine that you'd actually want to capture. And what's super cool is that you can retarget this onto other characters. So by default, they have the Rococo Studio default character, but there are other characters that you can import into Rococo Studio and just capture it directly onto their models. When I was first interested in partnering with Rococo a few years ago, it was because it was the highest quality motion capture available to indie developers. And after getting my hands on the three products that they sent over, I'm happy to say that it pretty much reaches those expectations. It has an Apple level quality when it comes to the packaging and shipping of each product. And then once you have everything set up and connected, Rococo Studio is a very straightforward software that allows you to create the clips that you want and then export them into the engine of your choice. I imagine that most people are very interested in the quality of the motion capture. And again, I didn't have to do much to get the exact results that I was looking for. One hiccup that I did notice that I don't see really mentioned anywhere, which has me thinking that it's actually more on my end, is that when I went to clap, the hands would actually cross over in the engine. So it didn't look like they were actually clapping. It looked like they were just passing through each other. 
haven't really seen that anywhere online, so I'm wondering if that's actually more of my own setup. Time will tell if I can either figure it out or if I could find any other people who have run into the same issue and we'll see if we can debug it. But other than that, I'm really impressed because other motion capture that I've done in the past, I used to connect at one point, the amount of frame data that I had to clean up was insane. It was almost unusable, to be honest. But in comparison, the Rococo motion capture is seemingly flawless. It might need a little bit of motion capture cleanup, but that's totally acceptable in comparison to what I've had to do in the past. Now, I did run into those technical problems of connecting the smart suit and the smart gloves to Wi-Fi. But to be honest, that actually might have been on my end because one, they recommend getting a router dedicated for the suit specifically and the gloves specifically. And two, I didn't really read the directions. I was just kind of following along through the instructions that are online, but it took me about an hour or so to troubleshoot everything. They do have great documentation that pretty much covers all the other problems that other people have ran into. So the answers are out there if you do end up looking for them. But what do you think? Is motion capture something that you're interested in? And are there any tutorials about it that you wanna see on this channel? Leave a comment below letting me know. But that's all for today. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.